welcome to my channel today i am going to brief you about acids bases and salts some of their characteristics their preparations and also uses what are acids acids are liquids that are characterized by their sour taste now what is an acid group h is the acid group you can identify an acid in a formula by noticing the h group in all acids h will be common group that is acid group say for example in hcl that is hydrochloric acid h you will find h as the acid group similar to it in hno3 that is nitric acid you will find h which is an acid group next is h2so4 that is sulfuric acid wherein you find h as is the acid group and even in phosphoric acid that is h3po4 you will find h which is an acid group so h is the acid group identifying an acid group is h the presence of h in a in its formula mostly acids are corrosive in nature what do you mean by corrosive they are very strong in nature they eat away the surface whenever an acid falls on any surface it eats away it damages the surface that is the meaning of corrosive in nature the next characteristic of an acid is which is important identification of an acid is they change blue litmus paper red when you dip a blue litmus paper which is an indicator in any acid immediately it changes its color from blue to red that is the test for acid the next characteristic of an acid is they have the ability to react with metals to form their respective salts along with the salts hydrogen gas is liberated say for example zinc which is a metal when it reacts with hydrochloric acid strong hydrochloric acid concentrated hydrochloric acid they form it forms zinc chloride which is a salt of zinc and along with that hydrogen gas will be released in case if you take copper which is a metal when it reacts with the sulfuric acid that is h2so4 copper reacts with strong sulfuric acid that is concentrated sulfuric acid it forms copper sulfate that is cuso4 and hydrogen gas will be liberated so cuso4 is a salt copper salt let us see how are acids formed acids are formed when non metallic oxides are dissolved in water what do you mean by non metallic oxide now what are metals you know all the metals example copper iron silver gold etc they are called metals the substances which are not metals or the elements which are not which are not metals they come under the category of non metal say for example carbon sulfur phosphorus nitrogen they are all non metals say for example when carbon which is a non metal 
when it reacts or burns with oxygen it forms carbon dioxide that is co2 c plus o2 gives co2 that is carbon dioxide gas when carbon dioxide gas is dissolved in water it gives carbonic acid that is h2 carbo carbonous acid that is h2co3 when it is completely dissolved in water it forms carbonic acid that is h2co4 similarly sulfur which is a non metal when it reacts with oxygen it forms sulfur dioxide gas when this sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide gas is dissolved in water it gives its respective salt that is h2co3 that is sulfurous acid sulfurous acid that is h2so3 when it is dissolved in water it gives h sulfuric acid that is h2so4 that is sulfuric acid so we can say whenever non metallic oxides are dissolved in water they give the respective acids that is here in the examples we get carbonic acid and sulfurous acid as well as sulfuric acid here you will find some of the sources of acids present in mainly fruits apple contains malic acid which is an organic acid and vinegar contains acetic acid that is also an organic acid lemon contains citric acid tomato contains oxalic acid grapes contain another organic acid now in this slide you will find omega 3 found in some of the food substances now let us see what are bases bases are just against i mean opposite of acids are named as bases their characteristics are completely different from acids now what is the group of base oh is the base group In the example you can see naoh which is sodium hydroxide koh potassium hydroxide caoh twice that is calcium hydroxide now in all these three examples you will find oh along with the other element that is sodium potassium and calcium which are metals so these are some of the bases shown here in this slide now let us see what are their characteristics now bases are bitter in taste now they are not harmful so just if you taste a bit of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide you can feel the bitter taste they are soapy to touch when you touch any base you will feel as if you are touching soap soap solution next characteristic of bases that is the test for base is they turn red litmus paper blue when you dip the indicator that is red litmus in any base immediately the color changes from red to blue this is the very important test for yeah, for a base now let us see how are bases formed bases are formed when non metallic oxides are dissolved in water non metallic oxides
example sodium oxide how is sodium oxide formed when sodium reacts with oxygen it gives sodium oxide that is metallic oxide when metallic oxides are dissolved in water they give the respective hydroxide so metallic oxide plus water gives so metallic hydroxide that is a base similarly potassium oxide plus water gives potassium hydroxide calcium oxide plus water gives calcium hydroxide magnesium oxide plus water gives magnesium hydroxide now in this slide you can see some of the bases and their uses mainly sodium hydroxide which is a base is mainly used to prepare soap shampoo and other detergents strong detergents so even in sodium carbonate it is also considered as a detergent sodium carbonate that is na2co3 sodium carbonate which is a salt of sodium hydroxide sodium bicarbonate which we call it as baking soda it is also another salt of sodium calcium hydroxide which is a base is mainly used to prepare cement and fertilizers bases are mainly used to prepare ammonium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide ammonium sulfate ammonium nitrate urea these are all some of the salts so bases are mainly used to prepare fertilizers chemical fertilizers even magnesium hydroxide is a base which is present in you know sodium fluoride is present in toothpaste which is prepared from sodium hydroxide and so most of the bases are used in chemical laboratories for the for the for other test now let us see what are salts and how salts are formed salts are saltish in nature they do not change neither blue litmus nor red litmus paper because it is neutral salt is a neutral substance now let us see few examples of salts nacl is sodium chloride K2SO4 is potassium sulfate KMnO4 is potassium permanganate and CuSO4 is copper sulfate these are some of the salts now if you ask me what are salts group there are number of salt salt groups they are chloride bromide iodides sulfate sulfite oxide sulfate carbonate etc how are they formed how are salts formed when whenever acids react with bases they give the respective salts and water is also formed this reaction is known as neutralization reaction say for example when hcl acid reacts with sodium hydroxide you get sodium chloride and water sodium chloride is a salt here you can see in this slide you can see how how salts are formed what i have explained already when acids react with bases salts are formed this is known it is known as neutralization reaction see hcl is an acid mgoh taken twice is magnesium hydroxide which is a base so when an acid reacts with a base neutralization it undergoes neutralization reaction process it neutralizes acid neutralizes base or you can say base neutralizes acid to form a neutral substance that is magnesium chloride which is a salt along with that water is also formed 
so this reaction is called neutralization reaction now let us see few examples of acids bases and salts which i have already explained to you acids hcl hydrochloric acid h2so4 sulfuric acid hno3 nit nitric acid h3po4 phosphoric acid in all these acids you will find the common group h as the common group next one is bases naoh sodium hydroxide koh potassium hydroxide mgoh taken twice that is magnesium hydroxides in all the three ox uh, hydroxides you will find oh which is a base group next salts some of the salts are shown here nacl that is sodium chloride cuso4 copper sulfate which is a salt magnesium chloride is another salt of magnesium kmno4 is potassium permanganate another salt so here you find chloride as a salt group sulfate is another salt group chloride again another same group and oxides similarly fluoride nitrate nitrate or salts group now hcl this is hcl which is an acid when it is dissolved in water what happens it undergoes ionization hcl splits up into h plus and cl minus that is hydrogen ion and chloride ion are getting separated in a base that is sodium hydroxide which is a base when it is dissolved in water it undergoes ionization reaction to form na plus and oh minus so oh minus is the base negatively charged ion next nacl which is a salt that is sodium chloride when it is dissolved in water similar type of ionization reaction takes place liberating na plus that is sodium plus ion and chloride Neg minus ions now in this slide you find different types of salts mostly they are white salts and they are saltish in nature and they are formed due to the neutralization reaction of acid with the base thank you very much for listening to my topic acids bases and salts thank you very much